as the sun's shining, I thought I'd do a quick review on the uh, All Powers S2000 Pro. Um, we have received a solar panel with that as well, which is a 200 watt solar panel, um, flexi panel. And uh, we was meant to receive two. However, only one arrived in time before our trip. And as we're in Spain and the sun's shining, what a good place to use it. So before I go into all the specs of the power bank themselves, I'm just going to show you the solar setup that I've done uh, and what we're actually receiving into the uh, power bank. So the solar panel itself is, like I say, it is a flexi panel. So you can flex it right over and meant to be you know, quite efficient to be fair. I'm going to try the power bank with just the flexi panel and see what we receive. Like I say, 200 watts is, the, uh, is meant to be coming in right now. As it stands now, we've got full sunlight. We are only bringing in um, power, so I'm not pushing power out and we're only getting around 92 watts so it's sort of half the efficiency that is showing it was a little bit more earlier but there isn't a cloud in the sky so to me that should be bringing in more now the power bank does state that it can receive 650 watts of solar so i've got a 400 watt solar um, as well so i'm going to plug that in along with the 200 watts and just see what we get from there now i've got the all powers 400 watt and the 200 watt plugged in We've got 300 watts coming in, so again, that's around half the efficiency. But it is bringing in good power. Now, if I turn on the AC, what I've found with this power station is it only shows the power going out when you're receiving power coming back in as well. So it does state on the battery there that it's charging, but at the same time, it's got power going out at 235. So that's basically just topping up the van batteries. So at the moment, I can now charge uh, or use any of the AC power in the van. The van is now alive as if it was plugged into mains. Just to quickly show you as well, you can get these little um, link clips here. This is the link in the middle. And then you just join the two solar panels together and then run your cable to your power bank. So you do that for the plus and the minus. Um, and that's why you can get the 400 watt and the 200 watt. Um, just bear in mind that there is a maximum capacity for the power bank's intake. So that's been running a little while now for the AC, so that's been giving a good boost to the uh, motorhome batteries. So I'm just going to turn the AC off just to see what solar we're receiving now. And you see it flip over now. So we've got 306, 305 watts coming in. What I'm going to do now is basically run through all the features of the power bank um, and I'll run through some of the features of the uh, 200 watt flexi solar panel. So that's been on around about 10 minutes, basically charging the uh, leisure batteries They're down a bit in the motorhome and um, it's not dropped in percentage. Basically the, the solars have been keeping it topped up. So I'm going to boost that back up to 100%. Flexi panel then, just to give you some stats on the flexi panel. 200 watt flexi solar panel. Open voltage is 38.4 volts plus or minus 5%. Go with the actual, so the size of the panel is 1,375 millimeters and the width is 780 millimeters. It does say plus or minus two millimeters. So the weight of this panel is only 4.1 kilograms. So it's really, really light. The only difference with this one is you can't fold it up. So putting it in the van, you need a decent sized boot. Um, or if you're fixing it to your roof, that would be ideal. It has got some um, Velcro cleats that go on here, so you can fix it upright to something, or you just lay it flat on the floor. Say, it's a lot lighter, this panel, than a lot of the others. It's just a bit awkward. Now, if it was a few millimetres thinner, as in, in width ways, then I could probably just slide it in. Um, however, it's not. So how I'm doing it is, it's like the belt for the bed that lifts the bed up and down. I just rest it within there. But to do that, I'm going to flex the panel, get it into the door, and literally, because it does flex, it will slide and sit on them belts now. I've just got to go the other side just to lift it up. On this side. And then I'll just sit it there. Now with the, um, the Velcro strips, 
that's these. I then use them just to secure it to the bed rail itself. So that's how it sits in there. So it travels okay. It is a lot lighter than the other one we've used in the past. The panel is not too bad. Preferably for our use, it'd be the fold up. But if I needed to get weight down, then I'd definitely use this instead. So it is a good option. So I'm just charging the um, power bank or power station up on the mains at the moment. Now it, it does go up to about 1,300 watts. Um, however, I am on a campsite, so um, the power wattage going in is 768. But it's, it takes a good couple of hours from flat um, to get it off the AC only um, to fully charged. So what did I receive with this kit? So obviously the solar panel and the power station itself. Two splitter connectors, just like that. AC charging cable, XT60 solar adapter, and a load of these straps. That's ideal really. Along with that, it does come with a handy cover case. Right, so on this hot, sunny day out here in Spain, the S2000 Pro. So I'm just gonna run through a few of the features of this. First off, nice solid carry handles at the top there, and that's great. And either side of this, it has got fans for the AC. So the fans are quite efficient um, in keeping the system and the battery cool. It's a lithium ion battery. It's a 1500 watt hour and a 2400 watt power station up to 4000 uh, watt surge. It's got four AC um, sockets there at the top. Um, it does make it a little bit awkward with them being at the top if you're using bigger plugs like the Apple uh, MacBook charger, for example. It does sort of come down over the screen or can foul on the 12 volt plug. It has got your normal um, car charger there, so you can charge up if you've got items that still charge off the old um, 12 volt. Plus it's got an RV charger here, three pin RV charger. Um, probably more like a an American thing maybe. Uh, I've never really seen them. Uh, I think it's just the pro version that has that but basically you can plug in your RV via that plug there. Um, not something we'll be using but it's there as an option. It's got two USB sockets, uh, USB-C's, they're 100 watts and then you've got two, uh, four USB's just here um, and they're 5 amps I believe. Um, along with that you've got the XT60. So the XT60 you can plug this into your car 12 volt um, with an adapter into the XT60 slot and then with that you can charge it on the move. Also if you're plugging in solar panels etc then you'll plug them into there. Maximum um, charge on this via solar is 650 watts um, and AC it will only bring in a max of 1500 watts and that's basically where you plug in your AC there. The weight of this, it's another important feature, is only 14.5 kilos. So it is easily maneuverable. It's easy to carry around with you, ideal for your motorhome, camper van or tents. Um, and even if you just needed it in the garage, it packs enough punch that it can pretty much charge anything we have in the van. It can power anything we have in the van. Simultaneously, well, that depends on the wattage of your item, but I could say 2,400 watts is quite powerful. If you're interested in the S200 Pro or in the Flexi solar panel, there will be a link in the description. Just go down to the description, go through the links. There'll probably be a discount waiting for you there as well. So go and check it out. Um, do I recommend it? We're using it on our trip so far. We're two weeks in and we've done nothing but use this and it's not let us down once and been ideal for charging everything up, laptops, phones, um, running the van, getting the leisure battery back up to spec, using the microwave, using the air fryer. This does it all. So on that note, I'll see you. Bye.